Oh, I'm back. Back in Glencoe. I was here just, uh, oh, I don't know, a few, uh, a few, well, in the last week anyway, it's fantastic. And I've got company today. We have Ray. Ray from Renegade Scots Channel, and we're going to be um, back, out. back out, yeah. We're going to be heading up into the snow, aren't we? We're going to try and get uh, some. Uh, try and have a winter camp. Yeah. See what it's like at one of these summits. Yeah. We'll try and get a bit of photography later, as always. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't look too snowy around about here, but I don't know if you can make out Buchel. The Buchel behind us has got a white cap on it, and we're, we're heading up opposite the Buchel, not to Benacrolastis, which is a favourite spot of ours. I suppose both of us we like that, don't we? Yeah. Um, but we're going up just to, to a slightly different location. Uh, we've got about two or three hours worth of daylight remaining, so we need to get cracked on up here and get a pitch, hopefully in the snow, for our tents with a nice view. So we're going to go and do that just now. And then get some tea and have a good night, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. yeah, super. Right, let's get cracked on. We're getting towards the end of the, or the, the end, up to the Beelich on this part of the West Highland Way, which is called the Devil's Staircase. And it's a bit devilish today. It's warm, isn't it? It's just delaying. Yep, it's, it's super warm because there's no wind. Had there been even the slightest bit of a breeze, I think it would have been just perfect, but it just shows you the importance of the wind, how it can affect the temperature and what have you. So, yeah, we're going to get up here and then we cut, take a right angle turn off the Devil's Staircase at the top of it, off the West Highland Way, and then we'll start heading uphill towards the snow line, hopefully. It's going to stop here, rehydrate, cool down a bit before heading off. Oh, this is just fantastic, absolutely beautiful. So we've come off the Devil's Staircase then, we're heading up the hill, and this ground is super frozen. It's almost microspeak territory. But anyway, the views have opened up as well, over to the Memoirs and Ben Nevis and these sort of holes, and they're white, and they're just a blanket of grey cloud just sitting over the horizon, it's beautiful. Uh, you might not make it out, but I've got Crow Lace to my right, and the magnificent Buchel. <laughs> Standing proud at the top of Glen Etiv and Glencoe. It's stunning. I think it's going to be a good night. And there's no wind. When uh, Ray called me, actually, I was quite keen to come out today because it's not often you get very little wind high up. So I was keen to, to make the most of it. I'm not sure whether we'll get much in the way of sunrises or sunsets, but it's going to make for a nice, pleasant wild camp. Just uh, might even get some snow tomorrow morning. Who knows? But it's absolutely lovely. Right. Time to get moving. It really was a lovely day to be hiking, and although it wasn't sunny, it was yeah, there was no wind which made it really pleasant. But the higher up we got, the snowier and icier it became, and we soon got to the point where we'd have to find somewhere nice to pitch the tent. It was looking good though. Almost there. Woo, we're nearly there. Just over here, isn't it? He's, uh, yeah. We're maybe about five, ten minutes away from the camp spot. Still a really light breeze, isn't it? It's nice. Uh, it's really nice. It's uh, not what I expected, especially up here. You'd expect a bit of a breeze. Yeah. But it's beautiful at the moment, absolutely it's beautiful. It's getting dark though, so I think, yeah. shall we go and get some water pitch before it's yep. black? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Well, Ray's just up behind me. He's pitching just up there, a great view down that way. I've come down here a bit, I wanted a, a view of uh, Bidjan Nambian and what have you. So I've got this wee flattish spot down there and I need to get the tent up because I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's starting to get dark, so time to start to sort of stop messing about and get pitched. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 
although it doesn't look too dark here, the light was really fading. The camera was kind of compensating for the light here, so we were keen to get the tents pitched as soon as possible before we required the head torches to help us out. Lovely. Right, as we just about finished setting up the tent, and it's getting really dark, yeah. the camera might be compensating a wee bit, but it's just about time to get the head torch on, and we've got the tents up just in time, I'd say, before darkness gets uh, gets ahead of us, and the need for uh, artificial light becomes becomes the, uh, the necessity, which it will soon. But it's just a lovely spot. As I said before, uh, Ray's just over here to my, just about 20 metres away. Got a nice view over to the buckle that way, and over this way is Bidgin. So I've got my sleeping mat done, and my sleeping bag, and the tent up. I've got these slightly bigger pegs, they're almost like snow, small snow stakes, which have been fantastic actually. Because the, the ground, it's obviously a bit different when you're trying to pitch a tent in the snow, and what have you. But anyway, it's, uh, it's lovely, so I'm going to uh, get a bite to eat now, get the rest of the stuff sorted out, and then go and sit and uh, have a chat with you. Tell you what, it's not warm. <laughs> right. So I headed up to Ray's tent, where I got the stove out and set about making myself some tea. I was really looking forward to it. This could take some time. And Ray had kindly given me some of his boiling water, which got the, the process going and I added the snow to fill up the water in the stove before popping my food in the bag to heat up and ready to eat. Lovely. Yeah, it was a bit of time. <laughs> it was a bit of time. Right, so here we are. Um, on, there is two tents, uh, we're not both squeezing in here. We're not doing the, the old spooning. I'll not uh, I'll put this off here. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm uh, camped about I don't know 50 meters just over the back of the tent, and we just uh, we just had some food. Uh, it's about six o'clock at the moment. Six thirty. Yeah. Ah, it's bloody freezing. We're in mid-November. And it's just, the weather in the last few weeks has been great and there's been a bit of snow. It's been more of a winter in November this year than we got the whole of last year. So we're just trying to make the most of it and it's going to be, it's going to be a cold one, but taking a few photographs, haven't we, Ray? Yeah, one or two shots. Mm. It's nice just to get in the snow. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of it, but it's still nice just to get out for a camp in the, in the, in the hills. And mm, the cool say, hopefully later on it's going to clear up. Maybe get some Astro stuff. Ah, we don't know. Just play beer. Yeah. But the good thing is that there's no wind, is there? It's, it's very, it's, very calm. It's, st you know? <laughs> still, it's freezing, but yeah. it's really, really quite windless. And the sky's starting to clear a wee bit. We saw some stars earlier on, didn't we? It's so starting to come through. So we'll see. Hopefully, It'd be perfect. It'd be but perfect. I think within an hour or so, though, you'll see it on the tents. The tents will be frozen. Frozen. Yeah. You'll see the form, uh, well, the frost forming. Maybe not. Soon. Depends on how much of that whiskey I have. I might, I might not yeah. be seeing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I might get lost going back to my tent. Yeah, so we've got a wee bit of whiskey. Um, uh, Ray's got a bit of rum, so uh, we'll have a wee tipple. Co cocktails. We'll Co cocktails. Cocktails. <laughs> cocktails on the hill. Yeah. Yeah. Put them in the chiller. We don't need to cool them down, well, do we? I think your, ha your flask is it chilling over it's there. It's chilling right? over there. Yeah, get the flask. Anyway, mm. enough nonsense. Uh, take a few photographs, have a, have a wee drink, and then uh, we'll. <laughs> <laughs> Might hit the hay if the sun if the sun doesn't come out if the stars don't come out. I haven't even had any whiskey yet. Uh, anyway. anyway, right, cosy cosy. Uh, can, can I get up? Oh, getting old. <laughs> okay, cool. It's still no wind, is there? No, it's fantastic. It's very, very 
yeah, it's just still, it's the stillest I've ever been, even in summer it's not been this still. It's yeah, fantastic. It's, it's beautiful, yeah. And the stars have come out, so we spent the last, yeah. what, half an hour playing with the cameras and... The, the usual tent shots, trying to get shots the of... The tent, the tent yeah. and the stars. The plow, the plow was actually right behind my tent, and it makes a nice image, as I thought. Yeah. It's been quite good, haven't yeah. it? It's been quite good. Anyway, it's, um, it's, it's, it's fantastic, it really is good. And, and this part of Glencoe is, it's probably less frequented, because there, there's not really... There's not any Munro's, is there? The nearest no. Munro's along at the Anahiga, there's no Corbett's and that's quite nice. I've never actually been here before. I've been about uh, to the, the next peak along, but I've never come this far, so I'm quite quite glad yeah. to be here and the views are just spectacular. Some people they'll do it as if they want to do a, a circuit or right along to where the, the Anahiga is. Yeah. So. But it's a long walk, it's a long very, walk. very, very it's a long, long walk. walk. Yeah. Anyway, I'll tell you what time it is now. It's time to warm yes. up with some uh, whiskey. Hold on. Ah, look. Recognise this wee hip flask, so uh, yeah, it's time for us to get some of this in our bellies and uh, it might give us, it might, it might warm us up a wee bit, but yes. so far so good, can't complain, it's absolutely no, it's beautiful. Been, it's been fantastic, yeah, it's, great. it's been so, a great night so far. Yeah, right, let's go have some whiskey. Yes, yeah. whiskey time. <laughs> Super. After warming up with some lovely tomato whiskey, I headed back over to my tent to get my camera back out and I spent the next wee while shooting some more shots of the stars and shots of the tent. It was a lovely, lovely evening. Uh, well, it's still no wind, which is, <laughs> which is great. And we've uh, we've had our well, you've had your rum. I've had my whiskey. Yes, and things, things are going to get interesting. <laughs> uh, but I'm keeping away from this edge. It's about a 500 foot drop here. <laughs> but so, it's, it's yeah. fantastic, isn't it? It's one of those nights. The stars. I mean, this wasn't forecast, by the way. It wasn't forecast to yeah. be clear. It was to be cloudy tonight. So the fact that the stars have come out has just been brilliant. So we've been, we've been playing about with a few shots, haven't we? Just sort of yeah, experimenting. It's been fantastic. We've been round the tents and doing this and that and trying to get shots as well. Just yeah, it's just it's incredible. It's actually very very nice to be out on a night like tonight. It doesn't happen very often. No, it doesn't. It's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And no. The wind's kind of shielded behind the camera. You'll not see it. Yeah. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's I think once that comes up I might light up over, which is fine, yeah. but you know, it's fantastic and I'm saying to Ray earlier on, I think the last time, it's, it, honestly, you might just be thinking, oh he's just saying that, but believe me, to go to, the, we're, we're about, uh, I think we're about 800, 850 metres at the moment, whenever you get to that level and above in Scotland, it's usually blowy, <laughs> it's usually blowy. Yeah, it's wild, it's usually wild, it's, yeah. yeah, or, or raining or whatever. And it's so still, it's scary, and it's it, very and, scary. And it, it yeah. makes a difference, it's obviously well below freezing, everything's freezing up, but it doesn't feel that cold because there's very little wind. I think the last time I had this was when I was camping on the Ben or on the way to the Ben at the CMDRA. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. I think the wind's forecast to pick up a wee bit overnight, yeah, but... I think, like, seven mile an hour. Seven, seven mile an hour, whoo! Yeah, so it's, it's going to be gusting. <laughs> ba batting down the hatches, <laughs> batting down the hatches, so... Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to take a few more shots. Pull head over to the, the tents in a wee while and then hit the... It's only about, it must be about 8.39ish. I don't know, I've not checked. It's no probably earlier than that. <laughs> yeah, so it's been a great night so far, yes, so... Tremendous. Yeah, it's been absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. Is it, it's nice, nice, this is what it's all about, this is why we're here. Yeah. It's not always like this, but sometimes in Scotland when the weather's good, you've just got to yeah. gra grab the bull by the horns now, and go and do again, it. Yeah, you win the lottery and you have tremendous nights. Yeah. Most people, and I've done it where I've been out, well, most of the time when I go out it's usually raining, blown a hoolie, eh, can't see nothing, blah blah blah. Yeah. When you get nights like tonight, it makes it yeah. totally so worthwhile. And great company. It's, yeah, it's just. <laughs> I had to put it in there. No, no, no. It's just absolutely brilliant. It's good fun, isn't it? After a wee bit more whiskey and some more chat with Ray, we'd soon decided it was time to hit the hay and I headed back to the tent for one last piece of camera before going to bed. Well, it's time for bed now. It has been a special night. 
there's been no wind, which has made all the difference. Yeah, usually when you get any altitude in Scotland, there's, there's not many times you can get up and uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy the, the high peaks with no wind. It's just been fantastic. Anyway, I think we've got really lucky as well. The forecast wasn't for any stars, but there's um, there's a weather system out to the east, and there's also a weather slack, low pressure out to the west. And I think we've been caught right in the middle. The stars have gone now, but we've got a good couple of hours where the the sky just lit up the stars before the moon rose, and, and when the moon rose, it just illuminated the peaks to the the south side and the south side of Glencoe. Just, it was just amazing. It's been fantastic. I really hope I've got some nice shots and some nice footage. Uh, it's cold, but as I said, the wind is making it feel like it's a bit milder. But everything's frozen. The tent's frozen. Uh, I can see it sort of gleaming and glittering in the light. But it's uh, it's getting to about towards ten o'clock now, so I'm going to call it a day now. Uh, go to sleep and just keep my fingers crossed that something nice will happen at sunrise. But even if it doesn't, this has been a, a great adventure. So, night night. Oh, good morning. It's about six o'clock in the morning. I'm just woken up. Not looked outside yet, but I had a good night's sleep. It wasn't very windy, which was fine. As, as we kept on saying last night, there was hardly any wind. I've heard a few wee small gusts going past the tent this morning, but nothing too bad. And the forecast was for it to get cloudier as the night. Well, it was to be cloudy anyway, but it was to get thicker cloud as the morning came in, maybe with some snow, but that certainly wasn't the case last night in terms of the cloud with starry sky, so we'll see. We'll see if we get a sunrise or not, but uh, yeah, I've been quite cosy, I've been as snug as a rug in this bag, it's well below freezing out there. Uh, yeah, right, anyway, time to get up and see if we can get a sunrise. Oh, oh, the hardest thing is always pulling yourself out of this nice warm sleeping bag. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that, but... Fingers crossed you get something, something at sunrise. Right, enough waffling, let's get going. It was a certainly cold and icy morning and before long the snow started blowing through so I decided it was time to get the tent down, packed away and all my gear ready before heading over to see Ray to have a bite to eat and then deciding on what we were going to do and which way we were going to head off the mountain. Not a bad view, is it? Eh? Yeah, it's good. Lovely. Yeah, so it's uh, it's about I don't know half past seven now. Maybe maybe near eight o'clock, and sunrise is happening any minute. And as you can see, I don't think we're going to get a spectacular sunrise. But to be honest with you, last night more than made up for anything. It was it was absolutely fantastic. 
So we're hanging around a wee bit longer, Ray's doing a wee bit of time lapse with his uh, with this camera there. Once that's done, we're going to get the bags on and head off the hill. How long do you think it'll take us to get off the hill? About right? half an hour. Half, half an hour. hour. Yeah. It's quite a... Yeah, it's, it's always easier going down the way. Aye. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a quick drawn back down. The car's just down there, so... Yeah. But it's been a fantastic trip. Yeah, we'll get back down. We might go for a coffee, but... In terms of the vlog, I'm going to finish up here, so... Until next time, stay safe out there, and thanks for watching. <laughs> so all that was left to do now was to get those big backpacks on and head off the mountain. It had been a great adventure with Ray. And I must always also say you should really go over and check out Ray's channel, it's called Renegade Scots. It's really, really good, I'll put a link to it here in the description.